Let's talk about category pages. And in my opinion, this is one of the most important core pages on your entire website. It makes it much easier for your customers and readers to find the right content that they're looking for. But WordPress and a lot of other WordPress builders don't make it easy to customize it the way that you want. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to set up and build the category page you've always wanted. This is Colin from Thrive Themes back with another tutorial video. And with this one here, we're going to be talking about how to build your category pages in Thrive Theme Builder. And I wanna talk about a couple things first. So we're gonna look here at the templates section within Thrive Theme Builder. So we have multiple things here on the sidebar and just I'll get this out of the way. If you are brand new here and you do not have Theme Builder and you wanna learn more about the product itself, make sure to go to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder to learn more. And what I wanna do is get back into looking at this left-hand sidebar. So we have the site wizard, branding, typography, and here we have templates. And this is where we are going to live today. And when you first load in and you've gone through the setup wizard, you've gotten your site here, what you're going to see is your core templates. And the core templates are the ones that we think at Thrive are the most important and the pages that are gonna be used and edited the most. And what we have here are two types of core templates. We have the single content templates and we have the list templates. I'm not gonna talk about the single content templates today. What we're gonna do is keep it focused on the list templates and specifically the archive templates. Now within list templates, there's two different types. You have the default blog template. Let me paint the picture of what the default blog template is. This would be your slash blog. So if it's yourdomain.com slash blog, that is going to be the blog list template. It's going to be just the all archives in chronological order, which is set up in your WordPress admin dashboard. What we're gonna talk about is the archive pages. So archive pages isn't necessarily the best word in my opinion. It's a little bit deceiving sometimes because archive pages aren't necessarily archives. They could be a search page a category page or anything that's kind of uncategorized is considered an archive page. And right here is how we're going to build our category pages. With the standard WordPress theme, you aren't able to have different template types for individual categories. So I think this is really important because let's say you have a blog or a business about fitness. So you have different content about nutrition, weight loss, and even muscle gain. Now your call to actions, your blog posts, your sidebars, and you might have different tweaks and different call to actions on these individual categories. You wouldn't have the same webinar call to action, for example, on the weight loss category as you would the muscle gain category. And that is the conversion aspect here. You wanna make sure you have a different call to actions, different sidebars, or anything you choose depending on the certain subcategory within your niche or your blog. And that's really the big difference we have here is instead of just having a one catch-all default category page, we wanna make subtle tweaks and individual differences to the specific category pages. Before we get into the editing of our category page, I wanna walk through a couple things that you're gonna see here on the screen. So if I hover over these three dots here, you're going to have the option to either preview, which is gonna just open it in a new tab and you can see what it would look like live on your site. You could rename this, you can duplicate it or reset it. So these are pretty self-explanatory, but if you wanna duplicate this, it's going to just be a copy of the exact same design. And if you wanna reset it, let's say you make a bunch of changes and you're just not happy with it and you wanna go back to the original template you had, you can just simply press reset. Self-explanatory, I'm not gonna go into any more detail on those. And what I wanna start by here is just open the editor and take a look at what we're starting with. Here we have loaded up is the default archive page, which is going to be the catch-all archive page for all the different categories on our site as it stands. Now we're gonna change that here in a little bit, but first let's walk through this page and what it has. It has a top section, a category list or a blog list, which is going to show in chronological order the posts in particular categories. So right now it's uncategorized. It could be the business category we have in this site, the marketing category, et cetera. And we have a sidebar here to the right, which is showing recent posts. And here we have some other posts from just in general. And at the bottom we have a call to action section. 
What I wanna do is make edits to this template. So first thing I wanna change is this top section. Not a huge fan of this top section here. Let's go into this. And what I wanna do is replace this. Now you wanna make sure that by default, when you go to change any section in Thrive Theme Builder, whether it's your sidebar, the category list, or the top section, they're going to be unlinked by default. That's a good thing, you want that. You wanna make sure it's unlinked because if you're changing linked sections or making edits to linked sections, those changes you make in an individual category will take place across that section, whether it's in a different category or any results on your site. So by default, they're all gonna be unlinked to make it crystal clear that it's only gonna be taking place, the edits will be taking place on this template. And we're gonna just plus replace. And I'm gonna just pick a template here that looks a little bit better. We'll go with this one right here. So for the sake of this video and to show you how to build these pages, I'm not gonna go in and tweak all the designs here, but you could tweak the buttons, you could replace the image, you could change the text, the size, all of that can be changed right here, but I'm not gonna go and show you how to show all the little edits here step by step. We're just gonna keep moving. Next thing I wanna change is the sidebar. And to do that, I want to hover over the sidebar, select it, and you're gonna notice the exact same thing. It's gonna be an unlinked sidebar, but we can replace it by pressing this button right here. So we're gonna replace this here, and I'm gonna pick one, maybe has a call to action, or maybe, a, yeah, about the author here too. Let's go with this one here. And this one here has an about the author, has a call to action here, and some trending posts, social, just some pretty simple stuff. And for now, for this one, I'm going to leave this category list, and I will also leave this call to action at the bottom. So here we have some subtle changes we made. New top section, new sidebar, didn't adjust any of the design elements, just simply changed out the templates. Next, we're gonna save this here. And this is now going to be our default archive template. This is what I call the catch-all archive template. Now let's go back one level and we're gonna go back and look at the template section within Thrive Theme Builder. Here we are back in the template section under the list templates. And one thing I wanna point out, if you're paying attention earlier, the default archive thumbnail actually looked different. If I zoom in here, it looked like the original one we had with that welcome to the blog banner. Now it has this new top section we made. So this is gonna make it easier for you to navigate through different templates you make by just simply looking at the thumbnail image. So the next step we're gonna do here is create a new archive template. And the way to do that is not by duplicating it, not by doing that, it's by going up to the top here and you're gonna see this add new button. You press add new, this is where you can make a new template. So I have a few different categories on this blog and what we're gonna do here is just go for the life coach category. So life coach here. Now a single or list, this is where you wanna determine the two. Single is going to be, think of an individual post, a page, or a 404 page. These are individual pages. Why? We call them single. But we're gonna focus on list. List here is going to give you many different options. And if you hit the drop down menu here, you can do post types, archive, or search. So we're going to do archives. And then you have different types of archives, like I was saying in the beginning. We have an archive type. So we could do all archives, which will catch everything. So uh, date filtered posts, the author pages, the category pages, you could even do the tags, courses, the list goes on and on. So like I was saying, archive pages are pretty important and they become a catch-all for many, many different pages on your site. But for this one, we're talking about category pages. So here you would select categories and then this is a key thing I wanna point out. By default, it's gonna be start from scratch. I don't recommend that and neither we don't recommend that at Thrive either. That means it's going to be a blank template. So unless you really, really know what you're doing and you really know what you want, do not start from scratch. Instead, select the dropdown. And what I recommend is this is, this is gonna show all the existing templates you have pre-built in your Thrive Theme Builder. I'm gonna go down to the All Archives. Why? The All Archives template was the one we were just editing before. So this is the one where we changed the top section and the sidebar. This is where I want my starting place to be. A conversion element is you don't wanna have these wildly different category pages. Let's take a step back and think about this from your readers and customers. If you have a category page in your blog and all of them look drastically different, it's gonna be hard for your viewers and readers to really understand the difference between the category pages. Like it just makes common sense. You may wanna have subtle tweaks in the copy, the text and the call to actions, but you don't want the page to look and feel any different. And that's why we're gonna use this all archives as the backbone and the base of our edits. So in order to save that, we just make sure all these are checked. You have the new template name you want, list, archives, 
the archive type is categories, defined for all categories. And oh, I already missed a step here. So for this one here, you wanna make sure that instead of uncategorized or the default, you wanna select the category. So life coach, and then copy existing template to all archives, press finish. And now we have this, we have the default archive and the green text, this is important to notice. In this green bar on the top left of the thumbnail, it says default archive, that's our catch-all. Here we have default category, life coach. So every life coach post on our site, not marketing posts, not business posts, none of that, only the life coach posts are gonna have this template. And what we're gonna do now is go in and edit this one and then you'll be able to actually see the differences. Here we have loaded up the life coach category template. And to make this incredibly obvious, I'm going to just give this a totally different top section. So I'm gonna click here, replace it, and we're just going to replace it with one that looks way different so it's obvious, and we'll go with this one here. Okay, here we have replaced the top section here, which is this different one. And I'm also going to go in and give it a, uh, let's do the category list here. So if I click on the category list, we can change this template as well. So here we have the default one we had from our original archive page. But for the Life Coach one, I want it to be just a little bit different. And I'm not gonna go in and tweak this step by step by step. That would be possible, but I wouldn't recommend that. Our incredibly talented design team at Thrive Themes has already gone through and made incredible templates for all these sections, sidebars, post lists here, and the blog list, and the top sections. So I'm gonna go here to templates. If you have the category list selected, you can easily change the template by selecting right here. And now we have a plethora of different templates to choose from. I'm gonna pick one with some rounded images, this one looks good. So yeah, you can see we have literally dozens and dozens of templates that you can plug and play. You can test one, if you don't like it, you can go back to replace again and do the same thing over and over to get what you like. And I like this one right here. So I'm gonna replace the template with that. Already, out of the box, looking great. And so we changed the top section, we changed the category list here, we kept the same sidebar. So already this one's looking quite a bit different. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to save this and before we go any further, I wanna show you what's actually happening on the front end. Here we have is the uncategorized or this is our catch all archive page. And this is what we had before. We had this top section with the laptop here. We had this sidebar and this is the big difference. We have this category, uh, excuse me, we have this category list here. And also you can see this is the template for the all archives. So if you're looking at it, if you're logged into your WordPress site and you're looking at the top bar, the WordPress nav bar here, you can always see what template you're on. This one is in the quotes, all archives. Now, if I go over here to the right and I select the life coach category, this is gonna have our new changes. We can see the first thing here, life coach theme at the top, and it has the new top section. And look at that, we have our brand new category list template that we loaded in. Now, let me show you one more step. If we go to one we haven't edited, so I have a business category on this site. I haven't touched it, I haven't made a template for it. It's right here. By default, this one here is going to have the catch-all archive. So we have this same top section, this same category list, and sidebar. So hopefully by now you're starting to get a better idea of how this is impacting your WordPress site in the back end and what you see on the front end. We're gonna go in and do one more category template and then we're gonna get back into showing you in the front end how it actually responds. We're back now at the template section underneath archive templates. And one thing I wanna show you if you are wondering how to navigate between your different templates, there's a lot here. So we have your core templates and like I said, these are the, the top ones that you're gonna edit and use the most. But there's many more. You could navigate by your homepage templates you have here. It's gonna show that on the top here. It's gonna show your archive templates. These are just the two we have for that custom post templates here, all custom post types, post pages. So these are gonna show different post templates for your blog posts and we have the same for pages. And you could do all. Now all is gonna show, I have 29 templates on this site. It's gonna show everything unorganized. Not the best way to navigate it. It can get a little bit confusing looking at different thumbnails and stuff. So the best way to do is to find either A under core pages or find the correct template that you want to edit. So for us, that's archive. What I wanna do next is make one more category page. And you can keep making these for as many categories you have in your site. We're just gonna do one more and we're gonna repeat the same process. So add new, I'm gonna do the business category, list, archives here, categories, then define for select the category. This one's going to be business. And 
I want to copy from existing template. So I do not want to copy from the life coach one. That's the one we've already made edits to. I want to make a copy from our default all archive. So that's my recommendation. If you want your category pages to look pretty similar in, in general and have like subtle tweaks and differences depending on the topic, go based off of your all archive or your catch all archive page. So I'm going to select that there and press finish. Here we have again, we have the default archive, default category life coach, and the default category business here. Now, same thing, I'm gonna go into editing mode here, and we're gonna go in and make even more tweaks to this one here, and then you'll see how all this ties together. We're gonna to make some of the same tweaks before. So I'm gonna change the top section by making sure it's selected, and we're gonna just replace it. We'll find a different totally looking top section here. We'll do, we'll just go with this one. I have a totally different top section here now, and we're gonna move down to the sidebar. So let's make a totally different sidebar. Make sure it's selected, sidebar. Let's replace our unlinked sidebar section. Let's put one with some, uh, maybe some images or something. Let's go with a uh, call to action. Sure. This one will work here. And that's gonna be all the tweaks we're gonna make to this one. So again, I'm going to save this work. And then when we go on the front end, we're gonna have three different category page templates that we can view. First, let's start by showing the original catch-all archive page again. You can see here, all archives is in quotes up here, and it has our original top section, our original category list, and you're going to see the sidebar here as the one that we had from the default. Let's navigate over here and go to, let's see, Life Coach, this is the first one. Okay, Life Coach, we have different top section and we have a totally different post list. Let's go to the next category, we did the business. Here we go again, different top section and a totally different sidebar. So by now you probably understand how this is working. I'm making totally different things by just changing sections in and out, but the most important part is that you're creating the right template types in the template section within Thrive Theme Builder. And there you have it. We have now just walked through step-by-step step how to build an archive and category page within Thrive Theme Builder. WordPress and other builders don't make this easy, but at Thrive Themes, we have made this incredibly easy to build different templates, category pages, and anything else you wanna do with your WordPress website. So if you are brand new here, at the time of this recording and this video going live, Thrive Theme Builder is now available to buy individually. You can get a copy today, put this on your own site, and get going. So go to thrivethemes.com slash themebuilder to learn more, or click the first link in the description below this video. And if you are new here and you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have tons and tons of tutorials, videos, and all kinds of content coming out about our products. So subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts on category pages, conversion focus category pages, and everything else to do with Thrive Theme Builder. So until next time, thank you for watching.